In today's video, I'm going to quickly run through this Volkswagen Transporter T6 2016 and the fully active Audison sound system that we're installing. Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced Link Car Technologies and you join us midway through a conversion of this VW Transporter T6. We're doing a whole host of upgrades to it. Um, we've fully sounded in the rear. We've done a front dash conversion to Titan Black. We've done so much. But anyway, this video is more to quickly um, just go over what we're doing in terms of the Audison upgrade. And hopefully later on down the video, um, you'll be able to see and listen to um, a track on the, on the system and hopefully you got an idea of what it's involved but it's more to show you what is involved in this installation. Audison equipment is regarded as one of the best sound systems out there for any sort of automotive vehicle and this customer hasn't skimped whatsoever. So whilst the van is in sort of a partial uh, percentage of deconstruction and Rich and James are working on it, I'm just going to quickly run through some of the Audison equipment that is in play. So first and foremost as you've probably seen on some of the other videos for this T6 we've fully stripped it out we've laid it the rear the whole rear the lower and the top because it's going to be converted and carpeted and suede and halo roof and all that sort of stuff but uh, we've done silent coat 2 mil pretty much everywhere you can see silver here now moving forwards um, we are going to be installing the Alpine Halo 9 uh, that's pretty much nearly there ready to be installed down here we've done a real custom installation into the base of the driver seat and we have installed the Audison APF 8.9 bit processor it's the Forza edition because it gives you that bit much more power and we've also got the SR1.500, which is the monoblock amplifier that is going to drive uh, an APS-10D subwoofer that is going to be sitting in this sort of area underneath the passenger seat. And I'll explain how that all works in a minute and I'll show you it where it is. Going to the doors, Richard has been working tirelessly on these doors and he's, he's over there at the moment just finishing off that side. So we've decided for this to go for the what we call our free stage sound ending on the door card. So what Richard's done, he's taken this door skin off and behind it he is using the skin's free mill sound ending. He's done the exterior door card or the, the exterior panel of the vehicle, which is this bit here as you can probably hear, it's pretty dead. Um, he's lined all of that on the inside of the vehicle, or inside of the door. He's then reattached the uh, the door skin, and he's then, as well, you can see the silver that is everywhere. Again, free mill. He's then installed the Audison APK163, and that comes with the woofer that goes in the door, or the 6.5, sorry, the 16.5. Uh, on the door. It's also going to have a mid because we've upgraded these particular doors to the Caravelle door card which I'll show in a minute and also we've got wiring ready for the tweeters that are going to be built into the A pillars as per the customer spec. We've then um, added these baffles to help project that sound and prevent any sort of vibration going outside of here. It's all going to be projected forwards. Now if we roll round to said Caravelle door card um, you can see the uh, Prima AP4 here. We, this is the door card and I'll get Richard to turn it over in a minute and there's its controller just there. So what Richard's done here is this is the third stage of the sound ending. He's done three mil um, underneath all this black stuff and then he's gone with this skins isolator I think it's called and it's like this thick um, sort of foamy and it's really going to take the vibration out of this door and there's the uh, the mid there and your main speaker is going to go there. Rich is just going to very quickly turn it over whilst he's busy. So there you go that's where the mid is going to be going and there's where the main speaker is going. As I said these door cards have been upgraded from the standard grey horrible plastic ones down here that you can see just hiding away there. Customer wanted something a bit more premium and as I said he's upgraded the full dash to the Titan Black and so these go really well. This door card here is uh, another Caravelle door card that Richard's sort of halfway through working on. He's stripped all the, the, the factory sort of what they call their fluff. It's their version of a sort of a real cheapy sound deadening and he's going to be laying the free meal again 
and then the, uh, the isolator on top. Uh, all skins product, nothing but the best. As you can see over here, Richard is just fitting the last speaker in and putting the baffle and lining it all up nice and neatly there. And as I said, down here we are um, fitting the APS-10D, which is over here. So it's getting ready. It's, this is all, we're just doing sort of a test fit. We are installing it with the Q Plus vehicle specific sub box. It's a dual voice coil. Um, and it's gonna rock, especially when it's connected to the monoblock amplifier. Now, the last speaker that we're gonna be fitting, they're still wrapped up here. This is the Audison APK, oh, sorry, APX 6.5 that you can see there. Now, we're doing something a bit special with these ones. I'll just get one of these. These are our sound pods, and hopefully all going well, subject to the halo roof going in and fitting well. They're gonna sit in there really nicely. We're gonna trim them up. And if I grab another one of them here, and I'll take it over to the vehicle. As you can see, James has already wired it all up there and they're ready to go. And I will just sort of offer this up. So, roughly, that is where the APX 6.5 is gonna sit in these custom made pods that are made of fiberglass, I think, or GRP, and they're gonna sit in there, be color coded and lined. So either we're gonna go for the carpet that we're doing in the vehicle, or we're gonna go for this Milano suede. So just wanted to give you a quick run through whilst we're in a halfway house. Oh, one last bit. We're also installing the Audison bit controller. We haven't fully decided where we're gonna fit it yet. We've got some ideas of in here, or in here, or in here just need to see what's going to work and what's going to look the best once it's in um so yeah just a quick run through of all of the behind the scenes work that you don't necessarily see it's very easy for me to talk to you about it and um quote you for the work it's quite expensive i'm not, I'm not gonna lie about it he's spending a lot of money on this audison system but it is gonna absolutely rock once it's done and dusted and uh, we've got the guys from audison coming down to help us tune it all so we can get it right and specific for the profile of this vehicle so once it's all in and the van is all back together i'm going to do you a video just to show you how it's all looking in its final state of play hopefully might show you a bit of the uh, the Audison process of the tuning on the on the laptop and stuff like that so you get an idea of what's involved with that but don't underestimate this install whatsoever we are on day four of this install and we're just over halfway so it is a lot of work involved um stay tuned get yourself a drink we'll be back in a sec okie doke we are doing very well with the conversion as a whole but this is another update for the Audison specific setup that we've done so as mentioned we are i'm just in the rear at the moment and we have installed our custom speaker pods with the audison apx 6.5 coaxials and just so you can see them here they are and there you go it's the apx 6.5 for the rears so we've put them into here we're going to put the panels on them uh, very shortly but behind the scenes um, just so that you can see, we have sounded in the interior of them uh, with the Skins product, and then we've used the sound insulator from Skins as well. That's that foamy sort of panel just there, and that's what you see behind the scenes all bolted into the chassis, so it's gonna be nice and neat. So those are the rear speakers that James worked very hard to get in and looking lovely. Move around to the front. The at Audison APS-10D is now located. Um, it's just waiting to be wired up and uh, bolted in. Richard has made the custom Q Plus box uh, fit specifically for this lower passenger seat. And he has also, uh, whilst we're up in this area, the bit controller is all in and it's gonna be connected to the Forza and the monoblock that we've done earlier on in the video. And so you can see there, it's just waiting to be initialized. Um, the tweeters as part of the APK163 setup, as we showed you on the other video, the mids are already in the door cards waiting to be plugged in. That's where they're gonna be going. But the tweeters, uh, Richard has done a pretty stellar job on the trimming so far of this particular vehicle. And hopefully you can see them here. Those are the tweeters. They've been mounted as per how the customer wanted them. And they look awesome. And they're gonna do a real good job. Now, the last part of the piece of the puzzle 
is finish A, finishing off this conversion, getting all the final work for the speakers in, and then we can start playing with the programming, the time alignment, the correction, and all that sort of stuff, so that this bit controller will kick ass once it's all in and working in conjunction with the Halo. Uh, so stay tuned. Right, so the last piece of the puzzle with the Audison is um, we still got the front driver seat out because we're connecting up to it and we're using the Audison specific software so that we can we can program it we can time correct it and get it truly specific to this van so the guys um, have been speaking with Audison uh, directly to get as much help in as possible and we this is what the sort of system that we're looking at you can you can control each individual speaker and you can see them down here you can train can uh, change the range and all this sort of stuff and change all the, the, the passovers and stuff like that so it's really really involved stuff um, which really makes it unique to the vehicle that it's being saved to and then we save the profile into the control unit and then we keep that file just in case we need to fine tune it or do anything later on down the line uh, but yeah all going really well so far right the last part of the puzzle for the Audison setup is done so appreciate this has also been a long video. I'm not gonna bore you to death with everything that we've done on this particular thing, because I've already mentioned it and gone over it probably quite a few times, but we're gonna get straight in. Um, because we now deal with Epidemic Sound and we're licensed to do their music, we've downloaded some 320 kilobyte sounds as songs. Um, not by very well-known people, but the music is awesome. And it also means that I can show you the music and hopefully you get a feel for that music uh, as I'm filming it and the YouTubes won't mind too much. So, um, right, James is just gonna turn on the Alpine sound system. Richard's just down there finishing a few bits off. And there we go. So, um, our splash screen's gonna be going on there in a minute. Uh, we've got our GTI steering wheel there, and then we've got our Audison DRC system there. James and Rich have worked really hard to get this all programmed and time corrected and all this sort of stuff. So we've got our USB stick with music in there at the moment. Wait for the DRC to kick in. And this is very low volume, and James is then just gonna gradually increase it up. And you should be able to hear how clear and crisp all of this is. So we're at about 20... 20 on the Alpine, but the sound outputting from this system is just is just something else, and hopefully the camera can pick up on that. Let's just uh, go through and just find a different track. So, different type of music. We can fine tune it down here, but we've got it all set up how, how we want it. Let's just find something with a bit more of a beat. Oh, we don't want to be doing that. Let's go right back to the beginning. I think it was this one that we were listening to earlier. Just ramp it up again. One last song. We'll turn it up a bit higher on this one. So obviously just listening to music's a bit boring. You can really hear the cleanness in the music. And there 
there we go. A full digital Audison DSP time corrected amplified system fully installed in this Volkswagen Transporter T6. It's not cheap. It takes it takes an unreal amount of time to to be able to install it, set it all up, and get it exactly how we wanted it. And hopefully this customer is going to be over the moon. If you've got a vehicle like this and you want to do something similar, then just get in touch with us. We're always happy to help out. Give you a custom quote um, for your specific vehicle. And uh, yeah. We've, we've enjoyed this one, we really have. Um, we're gonna keep pushing the boundaries of what we can do as a company, especially now that we're partnered with Audison and we've got their support for everything that we do, which is awesome. If you've liked the video, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel, uh, whether you're into your Volkswagens or your music or Audison or whatever. Um, hit that bell notification, it really does help us out and it helps you out by knowing when the, um, the latest videos are live. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Take care.